Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been gone for a little bit, but tomorrow you'll see why, you'll see why, you'll see why. Let's get right into it because I hate long intros and we have short attention spans, so let's get right into it. So this video is about my fall routine and like how, I meant, how I'm mentally preparing for the holidays, but honestly I'm getting quite sick and tired of all these fall routines on the internet and I just hate making them. I just hate making them. I just hate recording what I'm doing day to day. Not gonna lie. So I kind of want to talk it through my fall routine in regard to preparing for the holiday season. You know, let's just do that. One thing I've been doing this year, which I haven't done to the fullest extent the years prior, is like fully experiencing the season. And what I mean by that is like getting all of the fall things, the pumpkin spices, the pumpkin cookies, the pumpkin bread, the pumpkin pump, everything pumpkin. If you like pumpkin, I like pumpkin, so I got it. But doing such fall themed activities fully immersed me into the season so hard that I kind of got sick of it. Like I've seen so many Halloween movies in the beginning of October, I just got sick of it, you know what I'm saying? But now it's like November, so it's about to go into Christmas themed stuff, which I'm like, thank God, a new, a new seat, a new, a new holiday, a new vibe, you know? That's the first thing. My second thing I've been doing to really, you know, get, you know, fully immersed in the fall season is like fully staying present with my mortality. What do you mean by that? I know that doesn't really relate to fall that much, but people have been just unlifing. People have just been going. And I know like we try to make the most of the season with all the seasonal foods and all that, but it's also important to, you know, hold your loved ones close and hold yourself close and really appreciate where you are and that you're alive, you know? Because the holidays, the fall season like leads into holiday seasons where it's really fully about family and connections and loved ones. And that can be a very triggering time for people who've lost loved ones. For me, being present in the fact that like, okay, I'm right here. Like being, being in the present, but also being present with my, the idea of mortality. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm here in the moment, but also, I'm also here right now. And other people aren't sometimes, you know? So it's kind of a little dark, humbling moment there. Another thing, a part of my routine is resting really, really deeply. And even in that, like, I kind of deeply rest within certain activities too. Does that make sense? So I guess that's more like deep work, but I tend to jump around a lot of activities. Like I try to do this, I try to do that, I try to check this, I try to check that, and I get really sidetracked. But then when I do one activity at a time, it really does ground me in that activity, say like reading or something on my laptop and like doing something like that helps me kind of calm my anxiety down rather than trying to multitask so much and prepare for this, prepare for that, prepare for that. It's just too much. So resting deeply, of course, sleeping a lot and try not to do too many things, getting off of some apps and like reducing your screen time and stuff like that, which I'm working on. I haven't mastered that. Don't get it twisted. I guess fully delving into those activities that help you internally rest. And for me, it's like soothing my anxiety, like reading or like being present with some kind of activity that helps me focus, you know? Another thing, which connects to my first thing I said about like getting into pumpkins and you know, holiday season. The fourth thing is us connecting to our inner child and our child side more so. So I've been watching all the holiday movies. I've been watching all the eating, not eating all the candy, but I've been dabbling. It's like really letting your child side explore whatever season we're in. So right now fall is like looking at the leaves a little longer, dressing up for Halloween, which I did, you know, do a little something, do a little something cute watching the scary Halloween movies, watching my kid Halloween movies, um, pumpkin patches, little fairs, haunted houses, all the things like just to really make yourself light up, you know? Cause like I haven't done all of, all those things in a, you know, a good minute. So being able to disconnect to my child side and like see what she wants in this season has been 10 out of 10. And so the fifth point, which will transition into the holiday side of this, is starting to plan out your gifts accordingly, right? Cause like I know it's, Right now when I'm recording this is November 1st. I don't know when I'm posting this, but hopefully soon. It's like starting to think about what you're gonna get people, your budget, all that kind of stuff. Cause sometimes that be stressing me out and you just get like weird gifts, over expensive gifts and gifts that they don't want, too many gifts, too little. It's just, we start planning now. But now to acknowledge the, you know, thumbnail of this, I hate the holidays. I hate the holidays. I used to love them, but I hate them. Not, not really, scratch that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't really hate the holidays, but I hate what typically happens to me around the holiday time. I hate the triggers I experience during the holiday time. So throughout my life, a lot of traumatic things have happened to me in regard to family, relationships, whatever, during the holiday season. So it's like my body has a clock and knows what time it is. The holidays are coming up. I'm getting a little bit more anxious, a little bit more on guard, afraid, just fearful with my energy, just me anticipating the upcoming trauma season, you know? And honestly, the first half of this video was scripted, but this one is not. How I plan on handling my traumas this year? 
I don't know. I've had a therapist for a couple months now. Honestly, working with her has really helped me stay grounded and like feel like I've had I am able to handle what's going to happen if anything happens. I'm not trying to anticipate, but in general, the common you know, trigger warning, of course. The common things that happen around holidays, it's like you get together with family members from far, wide, you know, everywhere. And some people may not even like them. Some people are triggered by them. Some people have trauma with people, you know, and they all get together in one sitting. And it's a very traumatic time for people to be around certain family members, which is like, I think I also made a video last year about how to prepare for the holidays with your family members. Shall link for this video to help prepare ourselves is to like regulate our energy. Like, what are we afraid of that could happen? What are we afraid to face? You know, when the holidays come. And I don't know the answer to that yet, but I'm gonna do some shadow work on that before the holidays come and really see what the couple reasons are. Cause I, I know I know a few reasons why, but that's I think one way we can really help ourselves prepare for the holiday season emotionally. Like, what am I afraid to face? What am I anticipating? What is what am I so afraid of? You know what I'm saying? That's all I have for right now. My little fall routine, quote unquote. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for being here as always. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.